Trinidad and Tobago is ready to welcome the world with open arms to the 14th edition of Cari Festa, the Caribbean region's largest arts and cultural festival. From August 16th to 25th, 2019, attention will be riveted on Trinidad and Tobago as the best of the best of the Caribbean take center stage with an explosion of richly diverse, thought-provoking and exhilarating creative talent. With the theme of Connect, Share, Invest, Trinidad and Tobago is focusing all its energies on creating the best ever Caribbean Festival of the Arts Showcase. Cari Festa 14, 2019, Trinidad and Tobago. With a theme like Connect, Share, Invest. This is our opportunity as a Caribbean to connect with each other. And so we invite all of our diaspora. August is 16 to 25th, circular calendar, be here in Trinidad and Tobago for Cari Festa 14, 2019. Connect, share, invest is our theme and we are putting everything in place so that you can connect here, we can share information, best practices, and we can encourage people to invest in our creative industries, invest in the performing arts as we celebrate the Caribbean on this premier stage with this premier festival. Cari Festa has been taking place for some 40 years and this is the fourth time that Trinidad and Tobago will be hosting this prestigious festival. Cari Festa 14 encompasses a multi-talented cultural display in the visual and literary arts, storytelling, fashion, culinary arts, craft, theater, dance, music, film, and new media from more than 21 participating countries from the region and diaspora. The main purpose of Cari Festa, a mandate of the CARICOM Heads of Government, is to celebrate the arts and foster a vision of Caribbean unity while advancing Caribbean culture regionally and internationally. This 10-day long spectacle provides an enabling environment to strengthen bonds among our regional artisans and cultural practitioners, deepen people's understanding of other cultures and ensure the traditions of our island nations are sustained and appreciated. Carifesta, as we know, is a regional mega festival and it is important because it is one of the mechanisms that we use to strengthen regional integration and that is getting our Caribbean people to know each other and especially their cultures. Cari Festa, it's like what we call a pillow or a one pot. It comes right here in Cari Festa because some of the countries that will come to Cari Festa, even among Caribbean people, are not the countries that you maybe focus on in terms of visiting or engaging in their culture. There's in fact lack of knowledge of what their traditional culture. So things we learn, we see in Cari Festa might be the only place you might see them ever and therefore it's a great opportunity for our Caribbean people and others. We certainly want our diaspora, our people living in out of the region, to use this as an opportunity to relink with the region. Tourism is about culture. After you have sold the, the sand and the sun and the sea, everything else is about the culture. There's no separation and tourism does better when it appreciates the fact that what it's selling is the culture. The governments of the region who by and large are responsible for the expenditures of their delegations need to remember and understand the importance of culture in their country's development. And yes, the economic opportunities will help because by exposing the best of their country's creative talent is an opportunity to create markets. Trinidad and Tobago is well on its way with marketing and promoting Cari Festa 14, with many of the logistical arrangements, conceptual map, opening ceremony and other festival program flows already in place. Indeed, planning commenced in 2017 after Cari Festa 13 in Barbados. Talent searches and casting calls for known as well as new and undiscovered creative talent 
saw the participation of well over 400 persons. The Carifest of 14 Secretariat took this innovative approach so as to ensure not only the widest possible participation in this celebration of the arts, but also providing new talent with the opportunity to showcase their skills to the region. Let me say kudos to the entire Carifest of Secretariat here in Trinidad and Tobago. I think they have done a wonderful job. The advancement at this stage, based on past Carifestas, I mean, you got it going. I think Trinidad is making it a challenge. I think they're challenging themselves. I was very impressed. You can see a lot of work, a lot of planning that was put into them hosting this year, the 14th Curry Fest of 2019 here in Trinidad. A lot of work, like I said, they're very passionate. They're very meticulous about how they're doing it because I think Trinidad is trying to leave a mark on this year's Curry Fest. This year's Curry Fest is one with a distinctive difference a space for artists' gatherings and collaborations has been created, thereby ensuring that the invaluable legacy of our elders is warmly embraced and there is a lasting benefit for the practitioners themselves and the advancement of the various art forms. Carifesto is a highly valued regional cultural space, a space where we especially want the young people of the region to be able to experience their culture, to celebrate their identity as Caribbean people. And that is why within Carifesto, we have a youth village and a children's village where the young people can get together, perform, and exchange culture with all of the visitors coming to Carifesto. And particularly for our young artists, we see Carifesto as a space where they can be nurtured and in particular in recent times we have focused on Carifest as a place where we can create opportunities for the professional and artistic development of artists in general but especially our young artists. So one of the relatively new elements we have introduced to Carifesto is what we call the marketplace for the arts and this is where we invite international buyers and managers of international festivals, events, venues, and trade shows to come to Carifesta where they can see our talent, uh, they can interact. We want to generate business for artists so that they can tour and perform and get orders for their designs and so on. So this is a really important part of the new thrust for Carifesta where, yes, it will always be a space where we celebrate ourselves, who we are, and how we want to project ourselves on the international stage, but increasingly a space where we generate business in the arts and where we can give more impetus to creative industry development as part of the sustainable development strategy for the region. Moreover, the host country management team has appointed some of the major Trinidad and Tobago artists, such as Marshall Montano, Nyla Blackman, Voice, Nival Chetlal and Nishad M as Kerry Fester ambassadors to promote the festival via digital media. An Island Beat Super Concert featuring Grammy Award winner Shaggy, Kassav, the Zook Band and Calypso Rose will also be part of the festival. You can also look forward to over 150 events scattered throughout the length and breadth of Trinidad and Tobago. The Grand Market, Food and Rum Festival, Gospel Showcase, a Caribbean Jazz Show, Juve Community Festivals, Youth and Children Villages, and Workshops and a Symposia. More importantly, Trinidad and Tobago is marketing the region's various cultures to the world by bringing buyers to the festival and inviting the diaspora to visit and familiarize themselves with the Caribbean's cultural heritage and traditions. One of the things that we're really trying to do in Carifesto is to boost that whole element of the economic value of the creative and cultural industries. In Carifesto, we're trying to boost the economic value of the cultural and creative industries because we see this as being such an important part of the development of the region. And so what we are doing is we invite the managers of international festivals and events to come to Carifesto where they can 
see our talent, they can interact with our artists, they can book talent to perform at their venues and events, and they can also offer our artists all forms of professional development in terms of training and recording contracts and so on. So this is an important element where we have these VIPs in the festival who come from Europe, North America, Canada, as far as Australia, um, who are all very excited to come and we organize special showcases for them so that they can interact with Caribbean artists. So this is a really very important component, leveraging the economic value of the creative and cultural industries. The opening ceremony, which includes the Grand Parade of Nations, epitomizes the diversity and creativity of the Caribbean islands and its people, and will be held at the Queen's Park Savannah, Port of Spain, on Friday, August 16th. The Carifesta opening ceremony is a high point that sets the tone for the entire ceremony. And the Carifesta opening is one that needs to speak to that spectacular celebration of culture that Carifesta is. And what we have seen so far of the concept being proposed by Trinidad and Tobago is that it is going to be a fantastic production that will celebrate the history of the region, our integration, our togetherness, our creativity. It is an exciting concept that has all of us really looking forward to the presentation. 2019 has been declared the year of festivals by the Caribbean Tourism Organization CTO and it is therefore fitting that Trinidad and Tobago welcomes the world to this wonderfully exciting total immersion into the Caribbean's cultural and artistic tapestry. Carry Festa 14 cannot be missed. We have a saying in Antigua and I want to say to my people here in Trinidad and Tobago, you have to come, you have to come to see Carry Festa, man. you have to come. <laughs>